Hey guys, welcome back. Carter Bits Be Driven. It's a Saturday. We're gonna get some stuff done today. Got a lot of yard stuff done today. Gonna take a ride over to the office and let's take you guys through what we got going on. All right, my dudes. Let's get in the shop and let's have a discussion. Some stuff here. Woo. All right, so we're gonna fire up the whiteboard here. We got still a lot of stuff here. We got stuff to clean up here, but let's get this going. Touch that guy there, and the whiteboard's up. I am getting a lot of questions, and people still have very limited concept of what mining is and all that and we'll have a separate live stream for that but like people are just sending me stuff like i don't get the math you know i invest a couple thousand dollars in let's say a gpu mining rig why would somebody take the speculation given uh you could just buy the coin it seems like it's a better play and what i wanted to show you guys is kind of a just a historical account like what and why would somebody build a mining rig like what's the real the real play here um and what i would say very first is it's extremely hard to time the market nobody and i don't care who you are i don't care what kind of trader somebody thinks they are they may have some wins but then they'll get burned at some point um mining is an iterative it's like a dollar cost average but hedging with a piece of hardware so Dollar cost average is when you buy incremental amounts. So if you're gonna spend $5,000, let's say you split that into $100 increments over like 50 weeks and you're buying for 50 weeks. So you're you're getting at different times uh, price, right? So that yield is gonna be a little different each time you buy it. So mining works a lot like that with the bonus of the fact that you have a piece of hardware that you could also resell. So it depreciates over time, but, and you pay, it, you pay some ops expense, but you're getting an incremental yield the entire time. And this could be for five plus years with pieces of equipment while still maintaining some value in equipment. So let's go through a quick scenario of how this worked out. And this is not saying that you should do this now. This is not saying that uh, GPU mining's here to stay for a long time. It will be, but not to where everybody will have the tolerance or the wherewithal to stay the long haul because um, some people want immediate profit. So it, it's one of those things that just over time, it, it dwindles down. And then as profit comes back into the system, or like extreme profit, then people jump back in. Uh, but this will give you guys kind of a quick insight I'm using a cell phone camera right now, because we're still building the studio. I haven't got everything. I mean, we've got cabinets and stuff up, but you know, but still, let's, let's just do this right now. So in this, Example, we're going to use a friend that wanted to build a mining rig, right? And he had $2,500 and it was 2019, the start of it. Okay, now that was a that was pretty low, uh, you know, cost, pretty low amount of people. A lot of people were selling their hardware. So he ended up getting an eight card rig rig that was 588 gigabyte all for 2500 bucks okay now he started mining ethereum and the calculators at the time said that he was going to it was going to take him 22 months to get back his 2500 dollars at the time mind you that was a long time and he's like you know what? i'm just going to get these little bits of increments and those little bits of increments at the time, I want to say was about 0.8 ETH a month, maybe a little more at the time. And ETH was worth a couple hundred bucks, maybe maybe 200 bucks at the time. And it actually had went all the way down to $86 in March of 2020 during the COVID thing, right? So it was not looking good. But he just kept mining this whole time. So over that period of time, he was paying for that particular rig at his eight cents per kilowatt, eight and a half cents per kilowatt. He was paying about $58 a month. 
in cost for that rig to operate. And that's in US dollars. And the entire time, that's like a fixed cost is what it was costing him to run that. And since it was only a one rig, it was what it was. Okay. So over the last few years with MEV and things that have happened, MEV is minor extracted value. It just means that the Ethereum blockchain every 15 seconds is producing roughly two coins per 15 seconds, but plus the minor uh, rewards and stuff at the time, uh, ETH was averaging about 3.3 to 4.6 ETH per block. Now, what does that mean? At the end of the day, the yield on the calculator, when this started to become a thing in the beginning of 2020 itself, it 20 into 2020 or late 2019 into 2020, uh, this is when the yields started switching here. The price was around still the same, but the yields started going up to where he was earning about 1.3 ETH. It didn't double because the ETH difficulty started going up. Okay. So the whole time he's, he's getting it. Well, ETH starts to shoot up, right? Um, right after end of the 2022 or, or 2021. Sorry. So when ETH in January through essentially May, this little thing that was going on here started continuing to happen and was averaging right around 6.5 to 8 ETH per block, which yields for this period here were averaging for most people with this kind of this kind of hash rate, you know, if you had an eight card rig was averaging close to now 1.85, sorry, 0.85, because the amount of difficulty was going up, right? Difficulty is who you're competing with. So even with even with the increase here, you were still getting nearly a full ETH. Now the, the, care, the care factor there was the fact that ETH was now, two, it went from 2K to 4K, pretty much in that time and that made this yield this, that made this yield be worth a lot more money and with that all being said his total at that time when he hit his 22 month he had a total of 16.14 eth now we can do the math here to see how that worked out for him 16 eth that was catching all the mev that was being paid out and that was a 22 month span nonstop for a single rig. Now I used Ethermine for the pool and that's effectively his payout. So you take that 1614, the 4,000 at that point in time, right? 20, essentially 24K, you're looking at $64,000 for his $2,500 rig. That's, that's, that's the reality. So again, um, sorry for the echo. We're gonna get some some stuff on these walls to make sure that we prevent that. And when we have the right camera in here and we'll be able to do a much more uh, cleaner version of this for you guys. But I wanted to address of why people would be doing mining. And this is, goes for the same thing with like when people are spec mining like Flux or Ravencoin when it's like six cents and you're making you know, 70, 80 Ravencoin a month or sorry, 70 to 80 Ravencoin a day on a rig, you know, if it goes to $2, $3 um, at some point in time, right? It's a speculation, nobody knows. Nobody knows, don't let me tell you that it's gonna do that, I have no idea. Um, but I do know the mechanics to be able to get there and to play hardware, and that's what this channel is showing you, is that with a rig and a risk, $2,500 machine, you have that ability to Hedge the bet that if this if something goes on, you can sell this asset or you can make some contribution to a network for its security and get a token in response. So hopefully videos like this are good for you guys. Hopefully you guys like that. It's hard to articulate sometimes. And I think the, the board here will help. Um, and when I have a stable camera set up, um, we'll be able to highlight some more for you guys. So thanks for watching. You guys make sure you're liking and subscribing and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Decentralization is one of the most important factors in a global cryptocurrency network. 
Bitcoin's proof of work functions due to the exceptional security provided by the miners of the network. Today's sponsor is Compass Mining, a company with a customer focused experience providing a tailored approach to purchasing, hosting, or even an at home option, allowing anyone the opportunity to participate. If this interests you, head over to compassmining.io.